Look at that guy, Jason Bates. <laughs> Jason Bates. Oh, hold on, boy. as I take the head off. Jason! My boy, CT Mewtwo King versus Anti. Chilling with them red beats, looking nice. Hold up. And I wish Anti could hear me right now as I root him on all that Long Island bias right now. And you usually won't hear that for me. You heard it when I was watching at X Smash. Has Zero deserved that set against Mewtwo King in Grand Finals? As of right now, my heart goes out to Jason Bates. Because that man, that man is the truth. And as we see, Mewtwo King definitely got a very, very good teammate next to him in Zero. Zero, the man who's learned so much from Mewtwo King himself. Mewtwo King, a player who has dominated the scene for so many years, and unfortunately, due to a loss to Ocean last year, didn't get as far as he would like, but here he is proving now what has changed. And I think we possibly, I think we are right in the mix now, but this looks like it might just be button checks. I'm not sure. No, 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 it's just, this is definitely the match right now. So, all right, moving in here. I, I, yeah, and here we go. This is definitely the match right now as I was a little unaware of whether or not this was button checks. Oh, wait. What okay, is I, I, I've been confused about three or four times here. I can't tell if this is just button checks or if this, this has to be button checks. That has to be button checks. An up yeah. smash? Yeah. All right, well, like I said, I mean, I just want to make sure I'm on point. Yeah, okay, this, this is definitely. This is Music King, so keep that in mind. Like Music I said, King I just. To do button checks. Hey, man, I am not going to miss a beat when it comes down to the top eight here. I mean, we have just been so fired up. What a Crazy last set, man. Mm -hmm. That was pretty damn crazy. I didn't think it would get that close. I really thought Mika Neko would destroy Salem, or Salem destroy Mika Neko. Came the last hit, game five, and now, is here this we it? go. Winners I'm almost 100%. This is the other side of winner's semis right now. As we see, Mewtwo King versus Anti. And the play style differences are going to be ridiculous right now. As we see, both players opening up looking for uh, stage control. Anti with the flow tag, Mewtwo King with the patented no tag. Here we go. That's what I was, getting, that was, what I was concerned about. You know Mewtwo King never plays with a tag in either game. Definitely. He, is, he does not care. He is so ready to play. He does not make a tag ever. Now, as we've talked about so many times before, rather, the great Kitaro has. We know Anti with that block attack. Yep. Block attack. attack. So yeah. <laughs> we do want to see him break into that motion. As of right now, we can see Anti with a very small percent lead. Yes, he is winning. And last time these two fought at skates, our Anti actually won. So I'm curious to see who will win this time. Anti used to you always lose the Music King, but he got so much better recently, as you can clearly see. And, and so right now, as we can see, both of the players keeping their distance and really, really forcing the approaches out of the other Meta Knight because of the fact that they both know they don't want to be the one getting counter-approached. Wow. And Anti has the stage control right now. Mewtwo King is having trouble getting back on, and Anti is not letting him. Ooh, okay. Mewtwo King with that nice turn. Wow. Oh, and a great stuff there on Mewtwo King's shuttle loop as a well-spaced dare managed to put a stop to that real quick. Now, there's a big percent lead difference here as Anti, while trying to get back to the stage, is definitely still in control and almost almost tasted the other side of the boundary there. Oh my gosh, that last second tornado, that's very tough to use sometimes. Okay, I like how he uses the tornado to get back on the stage, that's fine. And both players so safe right now, you see it. This is a game of counter approaches as we see shields Whoa. everywhere and anti after eight Ooh. missed charge down smashes. Is he possibly conditioning Mewtwo King? Uh -oh. Is he really starting to break apart that mentality? Anti never likes to play on the ledge. He loves to get on the stage every single time. His aggression is beautiful, and as that, you can see. And that's attributed uh, attribute to Atori also as, wow! Anti hanging out a little too close to the top, and Mewtwo King taking full advantage of that as a shuttle loop, putting an end to Anti's first stock. Mm. Okay, right now, it's looking like Anti's having a little bit of trouble. Oh, man, and both of these players staying so close to the ground, really focusing off of tilts and fares, something very common in Meta Knight Dittos, but yet again, it's always that residual damage that seems to get the best of people. That straight trip from a down tilt, that NATO right there as we see, another fair connecting. Even if you're SDI and out of this, or they're not fully connecting, those little bits of damage always seem to make the difference. Mewtwo King evening it up as the, oh, anti with 2% to change it. Mewtwo King with a couple percent of his own. And we are back and forth right now, ladies and gentlemen. 
And I mean, as I'm seeing more and more of the ground game and the stage control is really starting to play a part in it. As the only times we're seeing kills tend to be right over the edge. The edge guard is really important as Anti nods his head in approval saying, wow, I didn't expect that option. Anti definitely with a bit of room to uh, make up here. As we know, M2K definitely tends to uh, play back a little bit with that stock lead, but no, definitely still in the fray right now, trying to make me eat my own words. And Kitaro has stepped off the mic for a second, so pardon the solo commentary, ladies and gentlemen, as there is a little situation being sorted out. Anti, unfortunately, taking a good amount of percent this, this stock, as he's already at 52. Threw out a strong air there, though. Hoping for a kill on M2K, as here we begin to see it. M2K taking his time, working with that patience. Really making sure to take full advantage of the timer here, as it has played a role in a lot of key matches. Great intercept there, as Mewtwo King managing to pull Anti out of the air. Yet again, another time, starting to break down Anti over the ledge. Oh, and a great dare there as Anti managing to pull another stock off M2K. But at that 88% marker, we are going to need to see a big comeback. I expect to see Anti possibly go for a reset here. Take a breather. You see him right off stage. Mewtwo King, great counter that glide attack. Oh, wow, and a very strong JV2 from Mewtwo King as he really seemed to break down Anti there. Anti, though, definitely got two more games before Winter Semis is over. So we're going to see where the counter pick is. Going right to Smashville immediately. As I wait for Kitaro to get back on the mic here with me. Now Anti definitely has to be a little shooken up after that JV2 stock there. Definitely not the finish he's looking for. Um, Mewtwo King coming out real strong yet again and really punishing those landings that Anti seems to really not be doing a safe job of. I right, apologize for that. I had to help out my friend Death. All right, it's looking like Anti got JV2 stock. JV2 the stock there wow. is uh, M2K made a couple great reads and putting into Anti real early in that last stock. All right, we'll see if Anti can bring it right back. I know MTK's feeling himself, especially after how good he did in Melee and how good he's been doing in Brawl too. But I know that Anti has a possibility of taking this. And there is something I would like to see from Anti. As we know, he's great with his aggression. He does a great job with the with uh, you know mixing up the attacking and blocking. But I really think we're going to need to see a couple more resets and possibly just a little bit more of a conservative style of gameplay. You know, he tends to really try and get up in M2K's face, and unfortunately, yeah. last game it didn't pay off. Yeah, he's getting up in M2K's face a whole lot, even right now, and he's having trouble. M2K doesn't fall for those spacing tricks that he does against many other players. And M2, M2K's counter grab game has been unreal today. As, as we saw in the uh, set versus Rain, I mean, he was grabbing Rain out of everything. He's ripped Anti out of the air quite a few times, revoking his pilot's license. <laughs> and we're flying for you. Will we see the upbeat? Will we see it? Nope. And Anti as we say, safe. Anti with a very Otori style uh, edge hogging routine, as unfortunately, Mewtwo King landing the very strong back portion of Nair. Wow, Mewtwo King really wants to get in the winners' finals right now. Yeah, and, and if I, he does, that'll be all NJ in winners' finals. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. Well, not just yet. We will still have the buzz in, Bra oh, well, in winners' finals, oh, yes. Yeah. Wow, M2K is taking the runaway approach. He does not want to get hurt. And I now, understand. <laughs> I was going to say, before we uh, give him all that guff, I have to say the conservative, correct gameplay here that we are seeing from M2K is definitely something that has brought him this far. Yes. I mean, that is something that is always rewarded in Brawl and definitely a fundamental M2K wants to stick to. Wow, that was nice by M2K, that little dash dance right there. But it did not work out for him. And Anti is still putting pressure, but M2K gets in. And Anti really well. And Anti starting to struggle a little bit. The aerial approach not working out too well. All those ground game approaches as he finally lands it right there. What oh. in the world is that? And that's something the Japanese had utilized. What? While M2K attempted to mash out, he forced an air release on, on his own uh, character, and Anti took full advantage with a grounded up B. You can run up B after that? I mean, the Japanese have shown it many times throughout today, sir, so okay. yes, <laughs> that is a follow-up. All right, I'll keep that in mind if I want to kill somebody. Now Anti, yet again, managing to take a stock off, but unfortunately already at 81%. Yeah, this is going to be hard to come back. He's going to need some crazy combos. And he is known for giving some combos, but still, this is going to be tough to bring back. Especially with M2K's conservative style of gameplay, mixing up 
great counter uh, ground gameplay and awesome aerial, just aerial proficiency that have landed him a lot of his kills. Okay. Wow. MCK see there getting that tricky. Was amazing. Glided right behind him and grabbed him. MTK might be in his head just a little bit. And I always love that safe option of NATOing. It's very hard to punish a NATO back to the stage from an MK uh, with a shuttle loop. So M2K definitely picking the right option there, not allowing an Anti to knock him out of the tornado. Yeah, Anti's doing very well right now, having the stage control. But Mewtwo King is going to play on that ledge for as long as he possibly can. He will take the safest route whenever he can. And the resets have been so important throughout these uh, sets wow. later on in winners. Uh, Winner's bracket, as we see here, taking your time and really just using the ledge to your advantage is not a bad thing. It breaks down the momentum a little bit. It forces the player to possibly approach or make something, make commit to an option that they may not want to. Okay, well, right now we're seeing the Dark Knight rising. Let's see if he can bring it back. He's getting pretty close, but right now he's still... Mm, that could have been a kill right there. And M2K at an almost full 70% for, uh, seventy percent lead right now. Definitely make an anti work for it. Is that 80% really starting to haunt him right now? And Anti needs to come back to the stage safely. He likes to rush onto the stage, but let's see if that'll work out for him. And Anti... Uh, Beautiful. I, I have to say, it seems like he's just not used to this slow or conservative and methodical style of gameplay that M2K is really bringing to the table right now. Yeah, M2K is playing it so safe right now, taking all the safest options. It looks like he's taking the options that he knows Anti will choose, but Anti's beginning to switch it up just a little bit, so now M2K is having trouble killing him. M2K also doing a great job of bobbing and weaving. Wow. As, wow a Death from Tornado. I mean, 180% is a hard marker to deal with, and Anti, Anti did a great job of DI in there, went straight up to the top right corner, but unfortunately, that percent was just too high. Anti's really bringing it back, but still. Okay, okay, that back air, really. There we go, and can, manages to connect on a full back air there, and that grounded shuttle loop wow. will do it. So what a reset for Anti, as we see last stock opening up, 0% both players. Oh man, Anti, this is his chance. If he can take this game, he may be able to take the whole set. And Anti right off the bat looking straight into his tilt game, ever so known for des demolishing the buzz with that tilt game. Looking to stick it to a uh, M2K with that yeah. tilt game. Oh, he's feeling himself right now. I can see it. I can feel it in the way he's playing. Oh, he's man. moving faster than ever before. Anti. Look at him. Anti, Look at him. Anti really punishing M2K, forcing M2K to try and land and managing to convert on every mm. single punish as that F smash got really serious there. Wow, the crowd is screaming out Anti. Anti's starting to feel it now. Too bad he has on his beats. He probably can't hear a word. Oh, I'm sure knowing Jason, he's feeling it, and he's definitely feeling the vibrations as the crowd is getting real loud. Uh-oh. All right, M2K's about to try and bring this back. Never mind, Anti is keeping this space. He's keeping the floor. Oh, and Anti keeping the pressure with those F smashes because he knows one mistake from M2K is going to cost him the stock at this point. Wow, and there we there go. It that is. is that is one. Ah, as we ah. see a little <laughs> finger pointing from Anti. <laughs> Okay, okay. Anti, he's taunting his opponent right there. Now, Mewtwo King is getting some help from Zero from Chile. Trying to see where he's messing up on, you know, on that entire last match. Anti really took over towards the end. And I have to say, I mean, I almost want to ask what we really could see, uh, you know, Mewtwo King and Anti make changes to. But it really seems like they're just beginning to adapt to, you know, each other as players more than anything. <laughs> I, I, he was like, he chose Ice Climbers. I looked at him, he's like, oh, hell no, I ain't doing that. There we go. I'm like, you better. As I give Anti two thumbs up of confidence, I really want him to keep in the right mindset. You could see this man, this man, as we see, yeah. cheesing, cheesing right now. Such a personality. <laughs> Such a personality. Taking a sip of that soda like he's just chilling, like he's not of, about to make it to win his final spot. Speaking possibly. of sodas, I would love if Alex could bring up some you know, beverages <laughs> to keep my throat going right I'm about, now. I'm about to send a special text out to get that. Ooh, I mean, oh, what's oh, that? Project oh, Project M. M. What's okay. going on with that? Okay, definitely agreed there. That is a good... Definitely. Project M, guys, if you haven't gotten a chance to check it out, outstanding game. Uh-oh. But getting back to the real game here is Brawl Begins. King's favorite counter pick and Meta Knight's Gay favorite I mean, counter Delphino. pick. Sorry about that, As guys. we see. Wait, wait. Okay. And let the sharking begin as we see the water. Pardon me real quick. Sharking, by the way, is the move where the players go under the stage okay. and just swing up and up and up. Okay, Anti with the beginning lead, beginning tilts, the beginning grabs, and the uppy. 
And Anti off to a great start here as he manages to get an early percent lead. Maybe not much, but maybe just enough to keep it in M M2K's head. I'm MK2, my man. <laughs> They're both playing the same characters, so they have the same moves. So this is clearly just a show of MK Diddle skill right here. And I mean, with the platforms and the sharking so present in this game, I mean, the up, air and, the up air strings and the vertical spacing are so important here because they really seem to set the tone for the Damn. momentum. All right, Anti's going deep and under. And a great use of grounded up B is uh, M2K takes Anti off balance and removes <laughs> stage control from him. Both doing the same move too. Whoa, whoa, watch it. You gotta watch it. The up B never came out. Oh man, and as things get really close, a 4% differential turns into a percent leaves for M2K as Anti taking a cool dip in the water to reset <laughs> real quick. Hey man, VXG reminds me of that. Hey, this Wait. is the stage to represent it, so maybe we'll see Grand Finals at Delfino. Hell yeah. All right, so M2K's taking the sharking approach, going under over and over, and you know, anti bears. Anti countering it as properly as possible, going all the way to the other side of the stage and forcing M2K to really revert back to the other side of the ledge. On this part of the stage, M2K loves to go aggressive, so Anti has to watch out and go to the other side as quickly as possible. Yes, definitely, because as you see, a lot of moves are going to send them so far outwards horizontally that it's going to be really scary. Back throws, down oh, airs, oh. bears and bears, all scaring the crap out of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the people were jumping out their seats just now, and there we- what? Wow, an M2K unbelievable correctional DI as Anti is digging really deep to find the option to put M2K down. And this is gonna be a tough part of the stage. Very weird, but they're gonna hang out on the other side. Oh! Okay, great composure. Anti great, great composure from both players. As you can tell, they are feeling it right now. They are ready. 19% separates it as anti, anti making it a full stock right there. I heard him saying something to Music King right there. I wonder what it was. Oh man, and as we see in the NBA, I'm sure we can see on the main stage the shit talk is ever so real. Yes, it really is. Even though they're both from NJ. Wait, NJ. Why, actually. There you go. <laughs> correct that <laughs> real You want to correct that. Okay, Mr. Long Islander. All right. Well, either way, back to the match here. As Anti still gripping onto his first stock, looking to tack on as much as he can and possibly pull another stock off as we're trading shuttle loops here on oh Delfino. Gosh. So close. Anti, I'm surprised he's doing this well. And Anti has absolutely, in the past two games, dominated the ground game. His F tilts, his down tilts, and his follow-ups have been absolutely Beautiful. spectacular. Yes, this is Anti. Uh-oh, the crowd's getting a little loud. They're getting a little shocked, too. They're like, Anti's going in this much on M2K? Man. And living? Okay. We live in. We, we live in. There. in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. M2K really wants that kill. But and Anti it. really doing a great job of taking his time there. Used the, only three of his jumps. Jumps, used a little bit of a glide and really forcing the resets, but M2K with such a solid counter option, using a dare to cut up the tornado and take away that stock, Anti's first stock. Wow. Okay, Anti still has a great lead, gets a nice F smash, and as we see yet again, dominant ground performance as we see him lift off. M2K going back to the sharking as Anti putting a NATO up to try and Pull an, uh, M2K back on stage. Oh man, an anti getting grabbed right there as M2K starting to open up a little bit. Starting to tick away at that percent lead. And anti escaping with a well-placed NATO. Now in this portion of Delfino, both players have to be very careful because of the fact that the, steal the ceilings and the sides are so low that a lot of moves, once you're over 100, can definitely become, become kill options. And to Anti choosing right there to reset. M2K looking to open up right there with a nice little string and a great job of getting around M uh, Anti's attempt at a kill. And M2K biding his time real well, even though he's down by almost 70%, really just slowing down the pace here, realizing maybe, maybe I'm moving a little too fast. Maybe I'm still stuck in melee mode. Wow. Great DI there as I really thought Anti was going to score a kill off an outstandingly spaced uh, grounded up B. And Anti uh, going on his sharking approach of his own as M2K put a stop to it real quick at the bottom of the stage. And M2K chipping away here, chipping away at that lead as we move into another area with very small sides. 
And as we see, trading tit for tat here, as we see F tilts against down smashes, and down smashes against F tilts from both players. Oh, and unfortunately, a tech error, a tech error right there from Anti, forcing out, but a great cleanup there as a down smash cross stage as the transition occurs is the reason that Anti managed to pull off M2K's second stock so quickly. And I'm very impressed with the defense that both players have put on against the Sharking. I mean, M2K, uh, rather I should say MK, does a great job of defending against Sharking against MK. So, while not surprised, shout out to both players. And as we see right now, it's a vibe for percent control as both players tied. 1% differentials, tilts being traded, and anti walking out of that interaction with the percent lead yet again. And man, the bottom of the stage is starting to get real serious as all the hype is breaking out there. As we see M2K with great control of the ledges. Anti dipping a little too close to the water there. M2K doing a great job of countering Anti's approach. And percently trading off and on, off and on. As we've seen, stage control, way less of a situation here on Delfino as it becomes a lot more important to make sure you're well aware of the transition we're currently working with. Wow, I come back and I see that Anti is actually losing when he had such a great lead in the beginning. Unfortunately, due to a tech error where he oh. walked off the right side, he ended up killing himself. So really? Really gave M2K a huge break. <laughs> okay, but we might still see something here. And M2K oh. looking for that patented shield poke. Didn't touch the top, though. Retreating properly there as we see another reset. And this neutral position game so important Beautiful. in the MK kit. Oh the my MK ditto. gosh, Anti. Kenny, is he going to go for it? I don't think so. This isn't... Oh! Wow, M2K taking that risk with that forward B. I don't know about that. Oh, and unfortunately, Anti wow. putting his base of his tornado too close to M2K's. And Antu, Anti playing Ooh, real beautiful. close to the bottom of the stage oh, there. Oh, what the that's hell was that? The stage was coming down, and he charged the F smash and brought him down with him and met him to Anti and hit him. So that was as shocking. of right now, we could see it's 2-1 in M2K's favor, and this is already shaping up very similar to last set as we see another 2-1 situation here. That, okay, so you said he SD'd. He killed himself. Unfortunately, yes. At what percent? It was, it was rather low. Unfortunately, he just misspaced, took one too many steps forward, went very close to the boundary on one of the Delfino transitions. And that's how he killed himself? He walked off? He literally walked off. Wow. It was just misspaced. I think he went to dash dance, and he didn't realize that he was must like, have been like right. face to face with the barrier. Oh, my gosh. That is interesting. I did not know <coughs> that. I mean, you rarely see that happen ever. I mean, so I'm a little shocked. Yeah, that's, that, that is definitely something you don't want to see either. But like we talked about, there is a lot of pressure here on the main stage. And honestly, it's not surprising to see it get to a player who, unfortunately, due to previous experience, hasn't been on the main stage as much as he should be. And I'm yeah. obviously talking about Anti. Of course. And this is his one chance to bring us to Winners Finals. Let's see if he can do it. Now Anti getting two trips out of the system real quick. One thanks to Sakurai, <laughs> one thanks to the down tilt. M2K did not convert on the follow-up against that uh, trip off his down tilt. So, so now Anti is looking to go in, but M2K is not letting him. M2K is going all over the stage right now, but Anti can't seem to get the moves that he wants to hit. And why would you say that uh, M2K is moving all over the stage? Note, though, he is constantly taking stage control. You find him constantly in the middle oh of the stage. Gosh. As a 2009 DM Brandon side <laughs> B. <laughs> that had to have been a mistake. It Roll may behind. have been a mistake, but still very well handled by Anti as he managed to tack on quite a bit of percent from that option. Wow, Music King's really playing well right now. And these low set remarkable. platforms, these low set platforms, for the same reason that Marth loves them, I know him, uh, Meta Knight loves them because it just creates such pressure thanks to a frame two up air, one of Meta Knight's strongest tools. Exactly. Whenever your opponent's on the platform, you can just up air, up air, hit them with the sword, and they can't really do much about it. Not even that will help. And I just love the battle for neutral position as we see bears oh, graded left and right. Great DI from Anti there, but a good follow-up from M2K. Mewtwo and King wants to finish it. He really wants to. He went way out there just to kill did, Anti. He did, and that's not something we are very accustomed to seeing with M2K. So you could see that taste of the money starting to get to him. Mm, that taste, that colorful green taste. 
Okay, but Anti's bringing his back. He's not going to let it end like that. Nope. No, and he's not going to let it end like that, but he still has a good amount of work to put in. His M2K only found it 92%. Mm. And thank God only 92% is an <laughs> F-Smash from Anti. While uncharged, definitely could have been the end of a stock if the percent had just been a little bit more in his favor. Yeah, if it was hitting to the other side of the stage, it would have been even better. Anti can still bring this back. He's only down by, you know, 32% right now in the second stock. And unfortunately, Anti losing a bit more on that ground game this time. The tilt's not landing as much. The smash is not killing as much. And man, M2K really putting the grinder on Anti right now. Okay, M2K, he is playing it safe, but not safe enough, and he dies to a up B from Anti. Anti swings his arm in the air, just like Meta Knight. And I definitely would be amped up if I was Anti. You know, it was a bad scenario, as I just spoke about. It was only 90% on M2K. Anti sitting at 46 now, but definitely not something that he's too, wor uh, too worried about. Okay, okay, there we go. Anti's trying to go in with them combos, looking like zero. And man, just the trade-offs right now. I mean, stage control fades back and forth, back and forth, tilts being traded. I mean, it's got to be very frustrating for both players vying for the middle of the stage. Wow, Anti's really trying to bring it back with that amazing edge game going on right now. But you know, Mr. King, he plays it safe. Not safe enough. And Anti always making strings out of stray hits here. I mean, really doing a great job as we're going to see him turn single hits into multiple hits as we see a NATO light up M2K. Ooh. Okay. Anti, Ooh. damn. And he's bringing this back. And he caught M2K with a rough portion of the shuttle loop as the percents are so close to even right now. They are so close right now. And there's a lot of moves that can kill. No, not too many. But with bad DI, you never know. And you got to watch when you're off stage. Oh man, and right there, just too many hitboxes from that NATO. As you can see, Anti unfortunately got stuck force glide attacking it. Okay. Oh wow, Mutant King is nice with the space and gets a nice fair. Can Anti get back on the stage? Yes, he does. And a great use of a spot dodge there to get around, but unfortunately, shield a little too small as M2K. Just Anti back on the edge. That's going to take oh. care of it. And I think F-Smash has absolutely dominated this game. Yes. I mean, you see so much of it, and it really is just forcing out overcommits to turn into deaths. It's a move that you normally would not expect to get a kill with, because it's so, like, late. It comes out so late. But, but the players same. don't expect it. And it's so mind gaming with the amount of time you can charge it or not charge it at all, as we see Anti always opting to charge it and really forcing mm. MCK to be fearful, as Sakurai... Uh, Sakurai meets Anti's like, yeah! Now why I may have walked off and lost the stock on Delfino, it looks like Sakurai gave it right back to me, yeah. so... <laughs> I think Sakurai knows he wants to win these this Yes, definitely. Actually. And Anti, always a momentous player as he's starting to feel it, starting to light up M2K's percent. Unfortunately, M2K calming him down a bit with mm. a very well-placed grab. Wow, Anti's so quick. I think his reaction time might even be better than M2K's. And I mean, these players at times just trade, trade option for option so much. I mean, we've seen the power change hands so many times here. It is really wow. becoming hard to figure out who's taking the upper hand in scenarios. Oh my gosh, and Music King right now is trying to go in. Anti is trying to use his rolls, but Music King is seeing through him. Music King, Music King. And the punish is just absolutely, oh, this, no. has, this has been a punished oriented set as we've seen. The evolution and adaptation of one another just seems to trade off consistently. And unfortunately, M2K taking a good amount of damage from trips, but at the same point, Gosh. He's got a percent lead for a reason right now. That is true. That is true. And that's getting close to the kill. Anti is living, but barely. Oh my gosh, that could have been it. That was F smash is so real right now that the broad side of that sword just being used as a bitch smack to each player. Another down throw. And Anti <laughs> doing a great job there. Can he make it back to the stage? Yeah, he will. Oh, man. Oh, and as man. you see, like I said earlier, I'd like to see a little bit more of that conservative safe gameplay. But M2K punishing him for being a little too safe and hanging out next to the stage. Wow, okay. Anti's trying to bring it back, but it's looking a little too close. He has to watch out how he decides to get on the stage. M2K with a oh, mistake almost causing wow, his life. Wow, what an innovative <laughs> option there from Anti <laughs> as he keeps throwing out kill choices. So anti, many tools. Anti. Gonna, I was waiting to see it oh. grounded up. Oh, oh that's anti. gonna do it. Yes, that's gonna do it. Anti, right there, the dark knight, showing why he's good. And me, these guys, while being polar opposites on the MK spectrum, have really traded so much here. And this game five is seriously, man, look at that. 
both sets in winner's semis going to game five. Can you believe the fight in these players? I cannot right now. Both sets, and that's even after Anti SD at a low percent still at game five. I think Anti thinks that he has the power to win this. I think he knows it. So even when he SD, he was like, I know I can do it. I mean, I, I, I smell something. Because do, do you smell that? Yeah. It smells like confidence. It does. <laughs> it smells so good right now, coming from both players, honestly. Well, Mewtwo King's looking a little shaken. No, Mewtwo little King shaken. is a little shaken, but... I almost want to say not stirred, but <laughs> honestly, I mean, the man has kept great composure, and Anti really, really had to dig into his toolbox and go all the way to the bottom to find the answer to beat M2K last game. As here we are on Battlefield, a stage I think neither player is uncomfortable being on right now. Mmm, music game that nice roll. They both like to roll. It's pretty interesting to see, because usually it's Anti that's rolling. Ooh, and Anti converting on those tilts. Such a tilt god, honestly. How did Anti get this good? Thank you, Base God. <laughs> <laughs> he got so good. Jason Bates. And man, off to a great lead here as he keeps interrupting M2K's attempts to sully his percent lead. Nice by M2K. That up B was right on point. Just where he needed to be. And Anti doing a great job oh of God. weaving in and out there, really getting away from those vertical strings that, r that always can be so scary. Anti gets a nice tilt right in there. And this is game five, folks. Whoever wins this gets the winner's finals. And what I find so funny Beautiful. is these guys really do just almost commentate for themselves, man. <laughs> I mean, the momentum changes, the reads, they rip each other out of the air consistently, and it just seems to be a matter of who's got more momentum behind them. As M2K has put on a real showing for us either. Wow, beautiful Anti wow. gets the first kill. And I believe He's that was looking the, hype. Was that the back half of Down Smash? Yes, it was the back half, but M2K gets that nice read of Anti's roll. Anti needs to come back to the stage nice and safely. And this is really where we're going to need to see a lot of percent tack on by Anti because honestly, there's nothing worse than watching a stock lead just be just be wasted yeah, by a it player. It really is sad. Can he get any damage on M2K? It's looking tough. M2K starting to starting to get that download as Jason Bates. Oh my gosh, so close. Wow. So close right and honestly, there. Honestly, I mean, it, I think that uh, might have been a bit of an error as M2K definitely could have. Oh, wow. Great job of M2K. Did oh, a quick check, yeah. said, how many times can I pummel before you're going to do something about it? Yeah. And apparently, Anti said too many because M2K got right in the up throw kill range. I'm surprised Anti didn't try to break out fast enough. He definitely could have broke out earlier And M2K than that. knew, had the presence of mind to realize he was directly underneath that top platform, which lowers the percent in order to kill from up throw drastically. Wow, Anti with the double, triple shield into running grab. Beautiful. As we see, the percent so close right now. Oh my gosh, I don't know who the crowd's favorite is to win, but right now it's looking pretty close. Anti's gonna have to bring it back though if he really wants to win this. And he really is gonna have to find some safer, more conservative options as M2K is really beginning to pick apart Anti. He really is, that tornado is giving him some trouble. Anti just needs to get a couple more tilts in like and that. Anti sticking to the fundamentals, oh did a great job of using stage control, but M2K using that patented grounded shuttle loop that grounded yet shuttle again. again. But unfortunately, as we talk about, that being stale is not going to allow it to be a kill. Wow. They're screaming out Jason, but both players are named Jason. Uh, what the hell type of mind game is this? Okay. As the community <laughs> unanimously Trolls. managing to create no bias <laughs> as they root for both players. And oh, wow. Nice. Great glide attack by M2K as Anti realizes that deficit is shifting and getting bigger and bigger as we wait. All right, I don't know what's going to happen now. Will M2K be able to come back on the stage? I don't think M2K wants to come man. back on the stage right now. You don't right think he now. wants to? You think Look he wants to hang out man. outside? Even Anti trying to do something to force this man on stage as he gets his wish, but at the cost of M2K. 30%. Yes, that is 30%, but Anti can still bring this back. Oh, my such gosh. great fundamentals by M2K. Forcing wow. out options from Anti. Forcing him to try and get off the ledge as Anti digs deep and looks for a reverse shuttle loop there. That's the first time I've seen him do that this entire set. That's how you know he really wants that kill right now. This could bring him to winner's final, so he needs anything, including doing the same move eight times in a row. Now, this is a little worrisome to me because CT0 utilized this technique against Anti when he Ooh, fought him originally in collision. Patchy. Hey, I mean, that was definitely a patchy moment, but Mewtwo King starting to utilize a teammate's uh, tools that had definitely been used 
to beat M2K, uh, to beat Anti before. Wait. They're screaming out Anti. They actually are. They actually are. Okay. Before they're screaming out USA, both players are USA. What the hell's wrong with you guys? And I mean, I have these Debo headphones on supplied by Jackson, and we can still hear how loud it is, so you know Anti can hear it through his. Oh, man. Oh, nice. He gets some air. Can he do anything about it? Gets the shield poke in M2K. This is what I did expect to see. Great use of the ledge and really trying to extend that, that percent lead, which is already at almost 60%, over yeah. 60%. Down 71, up B. Oh, man. Mitsu King's looking for that kill very he badly. He is an anti. Playing correctly and really doing a good job as Mitsu King only getting a dash attack punish. Tornadoes oh, clashing. Clashing tornadoes and... Oh my gosh. And 2K and Anti he managed gets back to on the get stage. He got behind M2K there. So a great option. And I such an awesome it. part about dash attack, the ability that once it connects, you can almost always get a power shield to be safe from that next attack thrown at you. As anti anti oh, chipping away as the percent lead here. Chipping away. It's gonna be tough though. It's really gonna be tough. To oh my goodness. Great read. Ooh, will he go for the Hard rogue read. The rogue oh no. No, no, no. As he stays oh, safe, sticking to those serious. fundamentals. Are you kidding me? Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! And wow, as hype starts to break off, M2K just power shielding in time to narrowly escape the 19% that was inevitably coming at him. Oh my gosh, how did Anti bring this back? He's still a little bit away from getting a kill. And Anti just throwing F smash as he says to M2K, come on, come on, I got a sword waiting here for you. His heart must be beating so hard, both of them. He really has to have a heart rate that is just ridiculous, says M2K fighting to the other side of the stage and Anti waiting for it but playing so cautiously. Wow, that down smash somehow hits. What's Anti gonna do now? And he a, has a stage control. There's a lot of time on the clock here, guys. Oh, I don't what? think that M2K is gonna be lucky enough oh, to get a timeout as we're looking at an 8% oh, differential. Oh, 2%! Are you serious? Anti oh. can actually win this! And man, M2K narrowly managing to get that 4 Oh no, there it is! Oh, M2K wow. wins it! He wins winner's semis! As he forces Anti to a trip through the loser's bracket. And let me tell you, Anti not looking thrilled, but definitely put up a great fight there. Wow. So, I mean, I... Guys, I'm sorry, but that really took the wind out of my sails. I had a lot of excitement for Anti, and while he's not out, definitely he's got a lot of time to make his way back up through losers.